So it's pretty much a joke about how priests are kiddie fiddlers, like, you could probably make a giant list of just like places that have made jokes about priests being kiddie fiddlers just because there's just been such an abundance of like um, priests being exposed for um, molesting and having sex with children under their supervision, basically. Um, but this priest, St. Louis, he's an archbishop apparently, claims that he had no knowledge that it was illegal. I'm not sure if I did or didn't. Well, no. Archbishop, um, you knew it was a crime for an adult to engage in sex with a kid. I just want to... Uh, I'm not sure whether I knew it was a crime or not. I understand today it's a crime. What? Shit-eating grin! Like, whenever you start or finish a sentence with a shit-eating grin, you are full of bullshit. You, do you want to know what that shit-eating grin says to me? That says to me, I can say this, and I can, uh, and it's obviously bullshit, but the sheep that go to church and have listened to me for the past 48 years will believe me and take my side. When did you first discern that it was a crime for an adult to engage in sex with a kid? I don't remember. Shit eating green again. When did you first discern that it was a crime for a priest to engage in sex with a kid who uh, um, he had under his control? Uh, I don't remember. Shit eating grin. Remember that either. Shit eating grin. Do you have any doubt in your mind that you knew that in the 70s? Yeah, like I said, I 70s. I don't remember if I did or didn't. 70s. So, let me do this mass correct. 70s. So, going by decades, one decade, two decades, three decades, four. That's 2010, so that's 40 years. And it's currently 2018. So, yeah, that's 48 years he's been doing this. And, again, shit eating grin. He claims he had no knowledge over, over those all of those 48 years. Did he not hear of Anybody being arrested for pedophilia, or uh, especially a police, a priest being arrested for pedophilia. Like seriously, it po I could probably pull up a list of um, people who have been arrested for pedophilia in the last 48 years. There, and I bet there should be a giant list, and half of them be, uh, half of them would probably be priests. So he has no excuse. Like, especially being as a priest, being arrested for paedophilia would have been a big thing, and he would have known about it being an archbishop. In 1984, you are a bishop in the auxiliary bishop in the archdiocese of. Uh, St. Paul in Minneapolis. You knew it was a crime then, right? Yeah, the statue of a shit-eating grin. So yeah, you had a little bit of a shit-eating grin for that last question as well. And, uh, yeah, just as even that the person giving this interview knows it's bullshit because he keeps leaving a space for him to just like, okay, maybe I knew it had an inkling. But no, he, he just sits there just like, are you really going with that story? Okay, I guess I'll just move on to the next question. This, he is just so full of bullshit. And this is pretty much the church. You know, the higher ups of the church are all corrupt paedophiles. And it, uh, sure, that's, that's something for an atheist to say, but... Um, you may not believe this, but I was not cloned to be the perfect person. I actually do have biological parents. I know it's hard to believe I wasn't made to be the perfect human, but... Um, my father is a Christian, but he hates the church with a passion. Like, he believes in, like, Jesus and God and all that, but he hates the church. 
when you have Christians hating you, that's when you need to reevaluate what you're doing. Like, seriously. Dude, just be like, okay, I fucked up real bad. And all I can do now is hope that I don't get the shit beaten out of me when I inevitably go to prison. Like, seriously, if I was his lawyer, I just, I would have him sign a document saying that I would not stand in front of a camera and say anything until the court case is over, because he's going to get his ass thrown in jail. Like, imagine him presenting this to uh, uh, the judge. He's like, sorry, judge, but I didn't know that it was illegal. Over the past 48 years I've been doing this. The judge would be like, you are going to prison for so long, you pedophilic little shit. Holy shit, I hope this guy gets a life sentence and gets the shit beaten out of him in prison. Jesus Christ would be rolling in his grave if he actually existed. Well, actually, no, he went back to heaven according to the Bible, so he would just be down in... If he actually existed, he'd be in heaven, and he would just spit, and that spit would just whack him in the face. Like, seriously, you have an all-powerful, all-knowing, divine deity, and this is the, one of the people he chooses to represent him in the chair. Ah, just... Oh, my. Uh, uh, it, it, it's beyond that beggar's belief. Seriously. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end this video because if I rant on this for too long, this is going to be an hour long video. And believe me, I have ranted for an entire hour. Uh, before, so yeah, um, th this is just bleeding insane, like, just throw this guy in prison, throw away the key, with a couple of big burly men, and yeah, just fuck this guy.